Hi guys, welcome back to Top Tips Graphics. So guys, today I'm going to give you a video tutorial with the topic how to convert your flat logo design into a glossy 3D logo design in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start. Here we are using this GA logo for converting into a 3D and a glossy effect. For that, first of all, let's duplicate the flat logo designs by selecting and dragging with the selection tool. Also press and hold the Alt key while dragging. Now we have to apply the 3D effect option over these designs. For that, go to the effect in the menu bar and select 3D and then extrude and bevel as shown here. Here you will get this option box. From here, just enable the preview. Also you can adjust to the 3D view by manually. Here I am fixing the 3D visual with the value of 4500 as shown here. Also adjust the extrude depth into 30pt. Then press the OK button. Here you will get the 3D effect of that flat logo. Now let's go for applying the glossy effect over this 3D logo. For that, first of all, expand appearance of the logo from the object menu in the menu bar as shown here. Then just ungroup the logo so you will get each object of the logo separately. And for getting the exact color of the original logo, I am selecting the blue surface portion of the logo and pick the color from the original blue color by using the pick tool. Also by using the same process, let's pick the yellow color also from the logo. Now we have to change the 3D portion of the yellow color into a golden yellow color. For that, select that portion and change the color from the color option box as shown here. Now it's changed to the golden yellow color. Now let's go through the 3D portion of the blue portion. Here you can see that the blue portion is in the multi objects. So we have to merge that multi objects to a single objects. For that, first of all, let's lock all the surface objects. So select all the surface objects and lock by selecting the lock menu from the object menu in the menu bar as shown here. Now for merging the objects, firstly here I am selecting top 3D blue portion by using the selection tool. Then take the pathfinder option box from the windows menu bar. Then just merge by clicking over here unite options in the pathfinder. Now this portion is combined to a single object. Now let's lock this portion by using the short key control 2. After that let's go through the second 3D portion of the blue portion. Using the same process let's merge this portion also by clicking over this unite merge options in the pathfinder. After that let's repeat this process of merging each blue color 3D portion separately as shown here. Also note that after each merging you should lock that merged object by using the short key control 2 for making easy for the next step. Here we completed that process of merging. Now let's go through the second step. Now just to unlock all the locked objects by going through the object menu and select the unlock all. Now let's move to the next step. The next step is to create the shadow under the 3D logo. For that we have to select and copy all the 3D portion of the logo. Here I am selecting all the 3D portion of the logo by using the selection tool. Also press and hold the shift button while selecting these 3D objects for getting all together. Once you copy all the objects, now copy these objects by dragging towards down using the selection tool while pressing and holding the Alt key. Here we get the copied 3D portions of this logo. Now let's change the color of this portion. Here I am changing this copied portion into a green gray color as shown here. Now move these gray colored objects towards the back of the logo. For that, using the selection tool, click right button over the mouse and from the arrange menu click back options as shown here. Now we have to apply a special gradient effect over these gray objects. First select this gray object. Now press the short key shift plus control plus alt plus 3. So here every object excluding this selected gray object will disappear or hide it. Now using the direct selection tool let's delete both side path of this object. Then change this fill color into a stroke with the same color. Also reduce the stroke thickness into 0.2 pt. After that change the color of the bottom stroke into the white color. Then select both the strokes all together by using the direct selection tool and go to the object menu. From here you will get the blend options as shown here. Here you can select specified steps as spacing and give the value 100 or 120 and press OK. Now you can blend these two strokes with the point 100. For that go to the object then blend and select the option make as shown here. 
Also you can use this process by using the short key Ctrl Alt B. Now let's reappear or visualize the hydrate objects by using the short key Alt plus Ctrl plus 3 as shown here. Now here I am applying same process over all the gray objects as shown here. Because of this repeated process, I am just showing you in a quite speed motion. Also for changing the fill color into the stroke, you can use the short key Shift X. So guys here we completed all the process that we have been given for the gray object which have four corner in it. When we comes to this type of object with one side flat and the other side narrow like the triangle shape, we have to do an extra process. So firstly delete the flat sided paths using the direct selection tool as we did before. Then on the narrow edge we have to give an extra anchor point on both sides of the paths by using the pen tool as shown here. After giving the anchor points on the both sides, just to delete the topmost anchor point using the direct selection tool. And using the short key Shift X, change the fill color into the stroke. So here you will get two stroke separately. Now we can continue with the process of blending, same that we did in the other gray objects. We can also apply the same process over this triangle shaped gray object also. So guys here we completed the making of shadow for the 3D logo. Now let's move to the next step. The next process is to create the lighting effect over the logo surfaces. For that first of all we have to create a circle shape over the logo as shown here. Now here the circle shape is in white stroke color. So change the stroke to into the fill color as shown here. After that place the circle approximately as half of the logo as we did here. Then apply the gradient effect over the circle. When the gradient bots appear, just double click over this black nodes. So here you will get this option. From here you can reduce the opacity into zero. Again double click over this same black nodes and change the color into white from the black. After that using the gradient tool, let's adjust the gradient effect according to the light effect. Here I am changing the gradient effect from the horizontal to vertical as shown here. Now we have to clipping mask this circle with the surface objects. For that first of all select all the surface object as shown here. Then copy the selected objects by using the short key Ctrl C. After that paste the copied objects to the same position by using the short key Ctrl F. Group the objects and go to the object menu. Here you will get the offset path from the path. Here change the offset value into minus 0.7 and click OK. So here you will get two layers of object, one with the thinner width. So delete the layers excluding this thinner width. Then the remaining layers look like this. Now we have to clipping mask the layers of the object with the circle behind. For that firstly select these three objects and make the compound path from the object menu as shown here. Here you will get these three objects in a single color. Then select the circle together with the, these objects by pressing and holding the shift key. Then make the clipping mask by pressing the right button of the mouse as shown here. Now let's apply the shining effect on the edges of the logo. That firstly let's select this corner anchor point of the surface object by using the direct selection tool. Then copy and paste that anchor point over the same position by using the short key Ctrl C and then Ctrl F. After that let's apply the white color stroke into that copied anchor points with the two parts on both sides. Then change the thickness of the stroke into 2 point as shown here. Also change the stroke style into width profile 1. Then just adjust the stroke by using the direct selection tool for the perfection. After that let's apply the same process over every corner of the objects with the same angle as shown here. Also you can pick the stroke by using the pick tool for getting the same thickness and the color of the first stroke as shown in this speed motion.
So guys, once we completed all the process, just group all the objects all together. So at last here we completed the tutorial of creating 3D and glossy logo from a flat logo design. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, well, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon for getting the new notification. Thank you.